As of October 2025, Russia is intensifying efforts to develop a sixth-generation fighter jet, aiming to leapfrog its fifth-generation Su-57 program and counter the stealth dominance of the US F-35 Lightning II, while addressing the escalating threats posed by hypersonic weapons from adversaries like the United States and China. This revival is not a single project, but a dual-track initiative led by McCoyan, MiG, and Sukhoi, focusing on advanced interceptors and multi-role fighters. Amid Western sanctions and the ongoing Ukraine conflict, which have strained Russia's aerospace industry, these programs blend ambition with pragmatism, promising Mach 4-plus speeds, directed energy weapons, and drone integration to restore Moscow's aerial edge. However, Experts question whether resource constraints will allow prototypes to fly before the 2030s, let alone challenge NATO's growing F-35 fleet of over 1,000 aircraft. Russia's flagship sixth-generation effort is the Prospective Aviation Complex for Long-Range Interception PAC-DP, commonly known as the MiG-41. Announced as entering the experimental design stage in 2018, the program was revived in earnest by 2024 with state media confirming development progress in January of that year. Russia's flagship sixth-generation effort is the Prospective Aviation Complex for Long-Range Interception PAC-DP, commonly known as the MiG-41. Announced as entering the experimental design stage in 2018, the program was revived in earnest by 2024, with state media confirming development progress in January of that year. Designed to replace the aging MiG-31 Foxhound Interceptor, the MiG-41 is envisioned as a high-altitude, Mach 4 to 4.5 platform capable of near-space operations up to 12,500 meters, with a combat radius exceeding 5,000 kilometers. Russian officials, including Federation Council member Viktor Bondarev, have touted it as a highly maneuverable interceptor to counter hypersonic missiles like the US AGM, 183 ARRW or China's DF-17, which travel at Mach 5 Plus and evade traditional defenses through unpredictable maneuvers. Key features include hypersonic interception, equipped with anti-satellite missiles and laser-based directed energy weapons to burn out the eyes of incoming hypersonic projectiles, splitting into submunitions for head-on engagements. This addresses Russia's vulnerability to U.S. hypersonic glide vehicles, which could target its vast airspace. Stealth and propulsion, blended wing body for reduced radar cross-section, powered by upgraded Saturn AL-51 F1 engines, 37,500 pounds thrust with afterburners, offering a 19% thrust-to-weight improvement over Su-57 power plants. Renderings show an F-35, like single-engine design with tailless options for enhanced stealth at high speeds. Manned unmanned hybrid, capable of swarming with 20 to 30 drones, extending payload to 8 plus tons for strikes on F-35 formations or hypersonic launch platforms. A first flight is targeted for 2025, with service entry by 2030, but delays ensue, 57 production, only 20 to 40 operational as of mid-2025, cast doubts. Sanctions limit access to advanced semiconductors and composites, forcing reliance on Chinese imports, which could compromise stealth coatings and avionics. Parallel to the MiG-41, Sukhoi is advancing a sixth-generation multi-role fighter, building on Su-57 lessons. In January 2025, Sukhoi Design Bureau head revealed a cutting-edge power plant with ultra-low fuel consumption and high thrust essential for sustained supercruise and drone-loyal wingman operations. This unnamed program emphasizes AI-driven autonomy, where the jet commands S-70 Okotnik drones for 8-ton payloads, outmatching the F-35 sensor fusion in contested environments. Unlike the interceptor-focused MiG-41, this design prioritizes air superiority and ground strikes with potential VTOL variants reviving Yak-141 tech for carrier ops. 
to challenge the F-35's multi-role versatility, stealthy strikes, electronic warfare, and networked warfare, Sukhoi's jet incorporates hypersonic armament, integration of air-launched Zircon missiles, Mach 9, 1,000 km range, already tested on Su-57s, for evading Patriot or Aegis defenses. This counters U.S. hypersonic threats by enabling preemptive strikes on launchers. Electronic Warfare Suite GAN-based ASA radars for jamming F-35s and slash APG-81 plus hypersonic countermeasures. Export Focus A lighter Su-75 Checkmate variant could enter as a 5++ bridge marketed to counter F-35 sales in Asia and the Middle East. Deployment is eyed for 2040 aligning with Russia's state armament program. But Ukraine losses, over 100 fixed-wing aircraft since 2022, have diverted resources, limiting prototypes. Hypersonic weapons represent an existential challenge for Russia, which spans 11 time zones and relies on centralized air defenses. U.S. systems like the ARRW, Mach 20 Potential, and China's YJ-21 could saturate S-400 networks, while Russia's own Kinshol, Mach 10, air-launched from MiG-31 has been intercepted by Patriot in Ukraine, exposing vulnerabilities. The MiG-41's laser interceptors and Sukhoi Zircon strikes aim to flip this script, creating a hypersonic shield for Arctic and Black Sea patrols. Recent exercises in the Mediterranean, December 2024, showcased MiG-31s with Kinshol, simulating strikes on NATO carriers, underscoring the urgency. Yet, as Chinese analysts note, hypersonics' high cost and limited accuracy in Ukraine suggest overhype. Russia's programs may prioritize deterrence over dominance. Russia trails the US NGAD slash F-47, first flight 2020s, and China's J-36 prototypes, both integrating AI swarms and adaptive stealth. Budgets strained by 7% GDP defense, spending in 2025 limit output to 20 Su-57s annually, far below F-35's 150+. Propaganda risks backfire. A January 2025 Sukhoi reveal used AI-generated images, sparking ridicule. Social media buzz, including ex-posts on Su-57 drone control, reflects domestic hype but ignores production gaps. If realized, these jets could export to allies like India, but failure risks ceding skies to F-35 swarms. Russia's revival signals resolve, but execution remains the battlefield. 